Enhanced Toolbox allowing further analysis of the captured data includes a search tool that allows the searching of messages for specific data by value, meaning, or description. Statistics tool that shows the summary information of the captured data in a variety of easy-to-read charts. Message compare tool that allow to easily find the difference between messages. The security feature supports deciphering data in different security levels and includes useful tools like NibbleSwap that makes it easy for the user to quickly look into the deciphered data. Encrypted sections are marked with an underline. The Hide tool allows making selected items hidden or visible. These can be devices, messages in message view, messages with specific source address, protocol layer, etc. Hidden devices can be easily made visible. The User Preferences section, which provides the user with the flexibility to modify basic analyzer properties, such as data cyclic buffer size, directories where the different files are kept, as well as colors of choice for his Periton's analyzer environment. And Workspace file that holds the exact analyzer state, including selected messages, expanded fields, bookmarks, position in each window, display modes, and more. This allows quick sharing of interesting scenario with back office, colleagues, and equipment vendors. The Batch Operation tool enables processing a large number of .anl files, looking for messages with specific field values, or meeting other predefined criteria. For example, look for all files with green power messages. In order to run the batch operation tool, all you need to do is to define an open source rule with a required criteria and choose the list of files you would like to process. The Periton's analyzer will then open the files one by one and show the number of messages that match the open source rule criteria in each file. Clicking on any of the files will open it for further analysis. Some of the main actions of the Periton's protocol analyzer, like Start Data Capture and Stop Capture, can be initiated via a command line and thus can be triggered through an external application. This feature is very useful to start and or to stop an analyzer session and is required during an unattended situation, for example when the network needs to be monitored during no working hours or if the analyzer needs to start after the PC is restarted.